Hello and welcome to my channel, I am Kat. Um, in today's video I will be sharing with you my picks for the May Sephora beauty box thing. Uh, yeah, it's not really a traditional beauty box in that, you know, they'll post an edit and then send it out to you um, with their pre-picked. Um, you get to pick your own items, which is good because it means you don't end up with loads of things that you don't really want. Uh, so the way that the Sephora box kind of works is you sign up on a particular date. Um, now you can choose to just do a one-off box and that's fine. Um, or you can choose to subscribe for longer. So I think it's like three, six, 12 months, etc. And every time the box gets a little bit cheaper. So if you wanted to do just a one-off box, I believe it's around like 13 95 and that's inclusive, inclusive of postage and packaging. Um, whereas if you subscribe to say like 12 months, then it's 11 95 including postage and packaging. And now it's only like two pound difference but when you see the size um, of the items then yeah it does actually kind of make a difference it is more cost effective but you obviously then have to choose five products each month where the list um now when I first joined it wasn't that varied from one month to the next you might have like a couple of things come on but in the recent say like two months they've actually changed up a lot of things and introduced a lot of new items um however there are still a lot of old items still on the list that like nobody's picking so um yeah if you see something on there then it's worth kind of just like putting it into your selection straight away um and then checking it like different times of the day so um i've noticed they'll like do drops of new items or, or replenish like every couple of hours in some instances so it is worth looking on there kind of regularly um to see if something comes in that you actually really want so uh i think that's everything information wise oh yeah the other thing uh so every month you can choose to have like a bag which looks like this so it's like a little kind of um hessian kind of bag i guess um and yeah you can choose to have it. it's free of charge um and it is really useful for keeping things in um i didn't get one this month this is one from a previous month um because i have about like six or seven of them now um but yeah, they can be really handy for just storage. Um, but if you don't really need them, you don't have to have them. It's good. Cool. On to the items. So there was a, a series of new introductions this month. I've got a couple of them here. Um, but there were some items that I suspect were older items. Uh, kind of items that reappeared um and i'll take you through those as well so the newer items that i got first one is a teeny teeny tiny sample um from malin and goats 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 i'm sure i'm saying that wrong um and it's the reef surfacing face serum that shouldn't have been that difficult to say um and it's only a three mil sample so but i'll just take it out of the box because it is really really cute it's in one of those tiny little look at it um so oh gosh i'm gonna have to do that thing where people put their hand behind it so you can try and get a focus there we go um so yeah i have one of the lip conditioners upstairs and it is really nice and i've had so many people raving about this brand but i wanted to try it and i i must admit i did think it was going to be a little bit bigger than this but serums you don't need that much and they can go a long way so maybe that'll last me maybe a week We'll see. Um, let's see what it has to say on the box. Oh my goodness. <laughs> right. Apply onto Queen's own skin. That's how you use it. Um, follow the... Okay. So if it's for daytime use, um, not sure why, but yeah, I'll use it in the day. Um, there's no more information than that, I'm afraid. Um, but I will give it a go and I will let you know how it goes. So that's my first one. That was kind of new in over the last month or two. I believe it's still on there, so it's quite easy to get. But because it is tiny, um, it might be one of those ones that people are like, nah, I'll go for something slightly bigger. Another one that came in. Now, when I actually put this in my basket, or in my selection um, of five, it did say this was times five. Um, and because the item is quite in a, in, inexpensive, I assumed, oh, great, they're giving you a full box. Because um, I think even the full box is only like 12 or 13 pounds or something. But they swiftly changed it, so it didn't say times five anymore. And it is only a single um, single item, and it's single use. So this is from Beauty Pro, and this is the Warming Eye Mask. Uh, relaxing Chamomile Self-Warming Eye Mask. Now, I've not used this particular brand um, version of this. I think I've used, like, the Space Mask, I want to call something like that i'll post um and underneath what they're actually i've only used those ones they're great but i have heard that these ones are just as good um and yeah i wanted to give, give them a try especially if i thought you were getting a whole box um basically what they are is is uh when you take 
uh, when you when you open it um the mask reacts to the oxygen and it kind of creates like this this heating effect um which i find so nice at night time if you've got like maybe a bit of a headache or you just want to relax um I just pop it over my eyes and i do tend to fall asleep with it on um but yeah it's 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 a nice one if you just want to chill out evening or you suffer from things like migraines then i would definitely recommend getting that but like i said it's only it's only one so there's about three pounds 3.95 value of that one next up is an item that i saw a couple of months it popped up um and it just happened to pop up when i was making my selection so i was like oh i'll give that a go so this one is the rhodial vitamin c brightening cleanser brighten and renew and it is 20 mils so this one um it is uh, gently massage onto damp skin um Oh gosh, avoiding the delicate eye area, etc. etc. Okay, so there's nothing on there that's basically tells you what it's for or anything like that. They are kind of deluxe sample sizes. Um, but I assume that I use it as like a maybe a morning cleanse, second cleanse. Um, yeah, nice to try. And I know with radial they can be quite pricey, so even that size is probably about like 10 to 15 pounds. Cool. Now the next two are the ones that I think may have been on there previously and just kind of randomly popped up um either way someone's taken them out or they've got like a restock of them but they weren't on there for very long um and i've not seen in either of these two since so this one is the nip and fab glycolic fix daily cleansing pads i believe that there are five pads in there um now i got this one because um i do use an exfoliator at night time i think i use the paula's choice two percent bha AHA, one that everyone raves about and it is really really good um and but because i use them on the cotton pads i just wondered if there was like an alternative that maybe wasn't as, as expensive um and i have seen a couple of youtubers and stuff rave about these so i thought i'd give it a go um and there are only five in there so if i don't really like it uh it's it's not the end of the world really um so yeah thought it'd be quite nice again i don't think it's particularly expensive but it is nice to be able to try that size um, that committing to like a hundred of them. Now this one is the most expensive thing in the box, even though it's only 10 mils, but I have only seen this, um, pop up once. Um, and I knew that it was, it was a fairly kind of expensive brand. So I picked it up and hopefully it won't disappoint. So this is the Cat Berkey Advanced Anti-Aging Super Peptide Firming Serum. Like I said, it's 10 mils um and the box is like slightly dented so i just wonder if it's been in the warehouse for a little while but i'm not going to complain because um i think even this size is like 20 something pounds so let's just get it out i love a little cute jar so there we go it is quite weighty actually um but yeah can i i'll open it up i'll just have a quick see if it's got a smell <laughs> i love a smell oh it's got like a little safety protector and everything else Ooh. oh gosh okay no real smell it just smells clean but as you can see it's not quite full but nice big hole in the middle there um so yeah i i do like trying creams it definitely feels like it's going to be the the kind of night cream um con uh, consistency it's a bit heavy i think for a day cream for me um let's see what it has to say right tiny writing time um a rejuvenating age defense daily moisturizer that fights sagging skin and helps diminish the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles super peptide firming cream is formulated with a powerful tripeptide complex including oh gosh matrixel 3000 complex um known as the mona lisa peptide wow i wonder what that means um is it because you never age i guess yeah obviously duh. um an advanced blend of coq10 plant stem cells and botanical hyaluronic acid assists in the super peptide complex to promote a firmer younger looking complexion that sounds very cool and i like the fact that even though it's only a small <laughs> a small sample they've put all the information on there so you know what it's supposed to do um and I'm going to apologise for my reading of things out. I know I always ignore punctuation and I really don't know what a lot of the technical names are. So thanks for sticking with me. Uh, so yeah, that was my last pick. Um, I'm quite happy actually with this month. Like I said, slightly disappointed about the one single mask, but I guess, uh, yeah, it's, it is what it is. Um, and I, I can at least try it um, and decide whether I want to buy a full box. But yeah, those are my picks in, in the kind of main beauty box. 
Now, I also do the sample one as well, um, just because um, sometimes you do get really good sample sizes in there and they are worth it if you, you know, you want to try a brand out or a particular product, etc. So the first thing is this perfume sample. Now, I love the fact they do perfume samples on there because I find that, you know, these really expensive perfumes that can cost anything from like 70 pounds to like hundreds of pounds. You and, and you, you have to order it online or, you know, you can't get like, oh, when is it? When I go into TK Maxx, they always have like so many amazing deals on the perfumes. I'm like, but if I can't smell it, I'm not going to buy it because it might smell awful. And even then, if it smells nice, how do you know it's going to smell nice on you? So with this one, um, I have never tried a Marc Jacobs perfume, but I saw it on there and I thought, why not? Let's just give it a go. So it's a, oh gosh, I'll read it. So it's Marc Jacobs, it's called Perfect Intense. Um, an unabashedly bold twist to the original perfect eau de parfum. An explosion of vibrant daffodil and golden roasted almonds meets opulent night blooming jasmine and velvety sandalwood. Celebrate the intoxicating clash of the unexpected. Perfect, just like you. Oh gosh. Uh, yeah. So how do you get, I wonder what daffodils smell like. That would be interesting. Um, let's see. Let's see if I can smell them. Uh, right, is it going to be very violent? Let's have a look. Not too bad. Okay. I'm rubbish at describing, as I've mentioned previously, but it smells quite... Reminds me a little bit of kind of like opium or something like that. The um, Only because my mum wears it. It's quite comforting. Floral, but warming. Yeah, not, not a bad one. Not a bad one at all. And it doesn't smell too bad on me. Um, so, winner. I'll, I will use that and I will I'll walk past people and like waft them and see if anyone comments on it. Because that's always, that's always a good indicator to me when someone goes, oh, what are you wearing? Um... Yeah, that's not too bad at all. I like that. I like that. I'm not going to try and say that I can smell daffodil in there because I, I, I have no idea what a daffodil smells like. But um, sandalwood, yeah, I kind of get that from it. Possibly jasmine. Uh, yeah, nice. First sample down, not too bad. Um, and then I got like sachets. So the way that the pick and mix works is it's three ninety five, but you get that back towards purchases um, across the Sephora website, um, which I think is pretty cool. So basically you're pasting, paying for the postage and packaging of your samples, but then you get that back to spend. So it, technically it's free, um, just like the Liberty London beauty drop thing. Um, so then the next one I got was Elemis Pro Collagen Super Serum Elixir Anti Wrinkle Concentrate. It's 1.5 mils. Oh, there, there we go. I love Elemis Pro Collagen range. I, I've tried most of it, uh, most of the products in there. Just recently bought like the face oil, uh, Pro Collagen face oil to try. So what I might do is um, when I open it, I uh, give this a go at the same time. Um, just so I've got the full range. Uh, I've heard uh, fairly good stuff about the serum, um, but I've never actually tried it before. So yeah, I'll be keen to see. Uh, does it say anything on here? Clinically proven to significantly reduce the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles. So I think that's the tagline for most of their pro collagen stuff. So yeah, nice little sem uh, sample size there. Next one I got is kind of a makeup item. Um, I've seen a lot of people have great um, coverage with this one. So I wanted to give it a go for myself. It's the Aborian CC Cream in Claire, which I believe is the lightest one they do. Um, there we go. Um, I see like they put it on and it's, it's white and then it kind of just tints to supposedly the, the tint of your skin. So I will be keen to see if it actually works on me or whether it'll come out too light, too dark, whether it looks like the orange. Um, but yeah, it's a nice coverage. I don't like a full coverage in, in or generally I'm very, yeah, very light on the, the foundation. Um, so I wanted to try a CC cream to see if it would give me, um, a little bit of lighter, but still obviously give me that color. Um, and it has an SPF in it, so I'm a massive fan. So it's SPF 25. Yeah, I'll let you know how I get on. Oh, and how much is that one? That one was a 1.5 mils as well. Same as the other one. Now, these two, um, I picked up, hoping they were going to be in pots, but they're not. Um, so this one is by Kapari. 
um, and it is the Peptide Glow Hydra Peptide Glow Hydrating Moisturizer, and it is a five mil, I believe. Yeah, it's quite it's quite a lot in there. Um, there we go. I have not tried anything from this brand, but it was like on one of the first pages that I went on, and I was going scrolling down. I was like, oh, that looks like a cute little pot. Um, that cute little pot which obviously I don't get because I get the sachet but um I read through and it's a vegan face moisturizer um, and it's stacked with collagen loving peptides hyaluronic acid and refreshing coconut water it's lightweight gel cream texture smooths on like a dream now that sounded very appealing to me so I thought I'd give it a whirly um and see how I get on with it cool and obviously it's a very good sample so five mils will last me like a few days so I can at least see how it reacts to my skin whether it makes me break out or not um and that sort of thing yeah then the last one i got um now again <laughs> uh it's a five mil sample but it's an eye cream so it's the gold fadden md um solution bright eyes dark circle radiance concentrate there you go now oh gosh it's wiggling it's wiggling so there focus focus yay um so with this one um it doesn't necessarily say what it's for but because it says it's dark circle radiance i assume it's going to take care of my wee baggies um which is really cool um because it's an eye cream though five mils goes like a really long way most of my eye creams um are around like 15 mils and they last me forever so i think it's going to annoy me the fact that it's in this so i may have to like decant it into something else um but i was really impressed that they had like this sample and gold fadden i've seen it everywhere and i don't actually own anything by them yet so i wanted to try it and see if it's worth the hype so yeah those are my picks um across the two um hopefully you've been able to see what the kind of products that they have on the website but like i said if you see something on there um just put it into your selection um as soon as so it doesn't obviously fall away there's one other that keeps coming in i'm always like oh i want to get it um which is the julia has a gun perfume um i completely missed when everyone had it and it was like all the rage so it pops on every now and again and every time i'm like oh i should really put it on and then by the time i've actually wanted it's gone it's gone so yeah you have to be quick um but yeah it is it is good in the sense that you get to pick your own items i just kind of wish they they put more selection on so every month there was like a new batch of things you could choose from and not just the same old stuff at the bottom um which obviously i get they've got stock of it so they want to kind of get rid of it but when you go on and it's you're struggling to find five items um it can be a little bit sort of oh i wish i hadn't signed up for the 12 even though you obviously get the discount with the two pound a month um i don't know it sometimes feels like I don't really know if there's anything that I want um, or like the samples are really, really small. So you're like, I'm basically paying for, for a sample. Um, but yeah, no, I am really happy with what I picked this month. And like I said, in the last couple of months, there has been more items going on. I know they did like a massive load of drunk elephant items last month, but I'd already made my selection. I wasn't going to repick, um, but they all disappeared. So hopefully they'll come back in um, and they'll get some new items coming in. So yeah. Thank you so much for watching and I hope this has been of interest um, and yeah, I will catch you on the next one. Have a great day. Thanks. Bye.